Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC Tree Dash Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes. And today we're talking hoops. We're talking my dude Keldon, y'all. And I gotta tell you, man, in the last preseason game against Miami, your boy went hard with the 23 points, 62% from the field, and it got me to thinking, man. My prediction, you know, and I don't think I made this public, but my prediction for leading score is Keldon Johnson and I got several reasons for that that I don't go over in this video but I just got to give this young fella some props man he was going hard and it was the way he was going hard man he was going harder than Mono Ginobili was that time the Heat have gone cold Ginobili on the finish flushes it with the left hand he was going harder than a Luke Cage iron fist fist bump baby Listen, Keldon Johnson is more locked in than Bruce Wayne is at night. Where are you? Man, y'all get what I'm trying to say. Your boy is locked in, ready to go. But before I jump too deep into it, if you like my content, please sub to the channel. Hit that like button and hit that notification bell. And thank you so much for the continued support. Okay, I'm going to jump straight into the video. Three reasons why Kelvin Johnson will lead the Spurs in scoring this season. And this isn't a new concept, and it's not profound either. It's something I talked about in another video about Manu and Kelvin working together. I'll link that video as well if you want to go check that out. But just seeing in a couple preseason games um, Kelvin play, and all those only been a few games, I am very confident that he's going to lead the Spurs in scoring for several reasons. The first reason is, is that he is relying heavily on the Euro step, which I did predict with um, him working with Milo Ginobili. I mean, he's doing it two, three, four times a game to get into the paint. And he's doing it very well for a move that's fairly new to him. I mean, I'm sure he's done it before, but he hasn't done it this many times at least i haven't seen that so let me know in the comment section if he had that in his bag of tricks last year because i don't recall seeing it but because of that move it opens up so much of his offense because he doesn't have to rely on powering through people and picking up offensive fouls or getting his shot blocked as often because he can be nifty and tricky around the basket if it was one thing one knock against kelvin johnson and i talked about this with my boy uh, clan the Spurs fan go check out his channel I have that linked in the description as well Keldon isn't all that creative you know you get what I'm saying he's going up with two hands you know he's getting blocked or he's just powering through this season seems to be a little bit different you know he has some up and unders he has some scoop shots he was doing things that I was hoping he would do and that was just you know diversify his finishes okay and he did that against the Miami Heat last night so I was happy to see that Second reason why I feel like he's going to lead the Spurs in scoring is that his offense is very diversified. It's different. You know, he's not just relying on going to the cup. He's not just relying on three-point shots. He has a mixed bag of things that he's doing, and he displayed that perfectly when he had the 23 points against the Miami Heat. This man was hitting threes. He was hitting mid-range shots. He was getting all the way to the basket. He was getting offensive rebounds, putbacks, those type of um, points that we expect him to get. So uh, I think that's what a leading scorer does. He can give you different looks. He can give the defense different looks, and that makes him more effective. You know, um, teams are going to give Keldon that open three. They are not. They're going to pack the paint against the Spurs because clearly shooting is still one of our um, issues. They're going to pack the paint. So Keldon is going to have those open threes. If he can knock those down, I think he shot like 50% yesterday, hit two threes. That's just going to open up a lane to the basket, which he wants to do anyway. He wants to throw it down. He wants to dunk the ball. He wants to scream. You get what I'm saying? So that's his payoff of being um, you know, tenacious on the offensive end. So teams know that they're going to give him that open shot. So his ability to hit that bad boy is going to be important. His ability to hit the mid-range jump is going to be important. His ability to do the Euro step when it's warranted is going to be important. And that's why I think, you know, he's going to um, definitely lead us in scoring. The last reason why I feel like he's going to lead us in scoring 
is his attitude, his energy, his tenacity, his relentlessness. You get what I'm saying? That's just part of his personality. He just go, 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 go. And he's going to be more aggressive than most of the players on our team. More aggressive offensively than most of the players on our team. And we got a lot of good guys. You know I'm a Murray guy. But Murray's focus isn't just scoring. You get what I'm saying? He wants to get rebounds. He wants to get assists. He wants to have a balanced game. Last night he had 13-7-7. You know, Derek White is somewhat the same way. Derek White, I think, can be somewhat passive on offense sometimes. You know, he could take a few more shots a game. I think that's warranted, and maybe that's coming. But he does seem to pick his spots and be a little bit more selective, which hurts his averages. But bo either way, both these players are assets to this team, but they're not as aggressive as Kelvin Johnson. Kelvin Johnson is just relentless. He's going. He wants to dunk. He wants to be effective, you know, and that's just going to lead to him taking more shots, you know, um, having more opportunities to score the basketball, which is going to lead, you know, um, the San Antonio Spurs and scoring um personality is huge in basketball personality is huge in sports and i just feel like he has the personality and the confidence to take over games you know at least attempt to take over games i remember it was one game preseason game where he was kind of you know doing a little bit too much but that kind of goes with trying to grow and trying to get better you're gonna you know overdo it every once in a while but you can tell that he's trying to mold himself into that go-to player and that's all we can ask for this guy in his third season right that is awesome that he's willing to take on that role and just do whatever it takes to help the san antonio spur team evolve and again this is very early in the season it's just the preseason as of this video but pop is still you know kind of tinkering with the lineups especially with the big men I don't know what his goal is. I'm happy to say that we do have a lot of options up front and who we can go with and who we can rely on. So I, I'm happy to see that. But the consistency or the consistent, I should say, has been, you know, Murray, White and Kelvin. They usually are in the starting lineup when they're available. And I think one of those three are going to lead us in scoring. And like I said before, Kelvin's a little bit more aggressive, younger. Is going to probably you know have more shots at the basket because he can shoot the three and shoot the mid-range and power through where murray is more of a mid-range guy and then white has become more of a more of a three-point shooter so much so you know he may should switch it up a little bit and show us a little bit more but you know a lot remains to be seen and it's contingent on high pop you know decides to run sets and you know are we gonna run and gun you know how's that gonna work so we shall see all right guys that's it for this one thank you for kicking it with me be sure to like and sub to the channel um hit that notification bell check out the other videos on the channel i appreciate you guys kicking it with me um let me know how you feel about the situation in the comment section i will be there to mingle with you guys and thanks again for the continued support and i will catch you in the next one Peace.